it? That stupid plug? Well, whatever it was, we got to think. It sounded like it wanted to fly, so we're gonna we're gonna give it the first official. Here we go. Rock and roll. So the last video that we put out, the engine was assembled outside of the car. And uh, I was kind of in a, a time crunch. I wanted to get this done within a week, but take my time. And honestly, for the build like this, I kind of put YouTube on the back burner, so I apologize. Normally I will micro vlog every little thing because there's a lot to talk about. We will show in this video everything that is done, and there is a lot. But I wanted to take my time. Ken was at work most of the time, and then he'd come back and help me through the evening. But uh, the last time this car, in the last chat or the last video, if you don't know, the last time uh, we showed this car, it had no engine, it had no nothing, it was stripped down. Now we have a built engine by RPG 5.2 with a Coyote crank, Gen 3 Coyote heads. So the stroke is Coyote, but we have a 5.2 bore. So it's like a super Coyote, it's kind of cool. But we also have new boosts. We have a big ice tank in the back. And uh, let me show you what we did. What we did is, um, again, I apologize because normally we show the full process of everything. But in this case, it's ready. Um, everything is done. We've drained all the old you know, fuel out. Everything is, um, we got coolant in it, we got oil, we got everything is good to go. We're at the point now, we are ready to hit the key for the first time. But what we want to do is, per RPG's instructions, we're going to hold wide open throttle, try to start the vehicle. There's a procedure that we're going to follow, and that's supposed to kill injectors so that we can build oil pressure but without firing the engine. But um, that's pretty much what we're doing now. So there's so much to talk about. Uh, what we've done with the car, I mean, you see it sitting on new wheels. We've got a big ice tank in the, in the back. I want to show we also have new fuel system upgrades. Everything on this car is done up. And I want to show in this video everything that we can as much as possible without going crazy in depth. Um, but drop your comments down below so we can talk about it. And if you want follow up videos on how we did this or that, definitely let me know so I can uh, touch base with you and get with you and show you how to do things. And we can make uh, incremental videos throughout. But the reason I didn't micro vlog again is because I wanted to make sure that there's a lot of money sitting here. Okay. I wanted to put YouTube on the back burner and I hopefully. Hopefully you guys will all understand why. Yeah. I wanted to go through the build slow and methodical, make sure that everything is good to go when we don't sit here and toast a freaking new brand new engine. So anyway, we're at the point now where we are uh, going to do our priming of the oil system. Um, so we're going to try to start without actually firing the engine. There's different ways you could do this, but we're going to follow RPG's explicit detailed instructions because it is their engine that they built. And look how badass this thing looks, man. The freaking Odin. Oh man, the wheels are fire. This car's coming together. So yeah, missing a hood. That's at the house. So we're going to have to drive two and a half hours home with no hood. That's going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, alrighty, man. So, VMP Odin Stage 3, 163 Armada Blade. Um, we got a big ice tank in the back. And, uh, yeah, lots to show you underneath of the car as well. Brand new exhaust system. So, we got Catless Headers. We have, uh, of course, Extreme Exhaust. But we also have the exclusive Double H pipe from Lethal Performance, made by Corsa. Uh, yeah, Double H. So, I've never heard this combination ever. And uh, it's something that I always wanted from the get-go was kind of like an H-pipe with long tubes and, and uh, extremes. But uh, this is this is a big day. Yeah, the interior, man, is um, still stripped down. So I've been working on things, wiring up, making it look nice and pretty. But the car's come a long way. I will make a video maybe. I've already talked about it a little bit with some of you. Why we have no twin turbo system on this, this car anymore. Look at those wheels, dude. They're sick. <laughs> They are so nasty. So nasty. Those are the Valgan VF5s. And, uh, wow. It looks like a 4x4. The suspension's not settled yet. But, okay, let's, let's get to work. Let's get this thing fired up. 
All right, so we're gonna call it quits after two two uh, revolutions of that because we're about to lose the battery. So we're gonna go back to the dealership and uh, grab a charger. But yeah, all is good so far. So I'm really nervous about this whole thing. Um, it's it's been quite an adventure. You know, uh, the last time that we saw the car, it uh, yeah, it had no engine. But man, so much has changed, and there's so much content that's gonna be coming up from this. It's so crazy. But uh, yeah, exciting. All right, so we're waiting on them to go get the uh, charger and uh, we'll go ahead and raise the car up. I'm gonna show you what's underneath and just talk to you about the build a little bit more before we do our second two revolutions and uh, you know finish the video with hopefully a successful engine start. But um, yeah, we have a new tuner, Daryl Winger. Guys, we, we switched up from Palm Beach and nothing against Palm Beach at all, but Daryl Winger, everything I've seen him touch has been phenomenal. And he lives an hour away from me. And he's making a big, big, big name for himself all across the country at this point. So I know him personally. He is a brilliant, brilliant individual. And uh, I trust him enough, obviously, to with a new build. So that means you guys can too. So um, anyway, we're going to go through the, the uh, let's just start here. So we have, again, we have a VMP Odin. It's a stage three 163R mono blade, which can be finicky when tuning. But uh, from what I've seen Daryl do in the past with these, he's been pretty spot on. We got, of course, we have our lethal performance return style fuel system. Same one that we had before, and it works fine. We have uh, three 267 pumps and one of them now is on a Hobbs. So we're doing that as something new, a kind of a fancy cool way that I decided to mount it. So tried to, I tried to make everything a little bit serviceable through the car uh, as we were putting it back together. So, you know, if I have problems, I, get, I can get to it easily. Even our fuses for everything down here is kind of tucked away but still in the open enough to be able to get to it easily we got we got some love from glt by the way when we get this thing back home we have some more stuff coming as well so not everything is here but we have more glt love we have another cool thing from foster mods uh coming to give a little bit more wine not that these don't wine but a little bit more wine from the blower so i'm really excited to install that show you guys how to do it and then uh, obviously video recording the results and how it's going to sound but um, uh, we're going to start off on 93 pump gas with an 88 millimeter pulley and uh, just for engine break-in and stuff like that, it's always good to have something like this a smaller you know daily drivable pulley uh, because this is a 5.2 theoretically it's going to make you know a bunch more power uh, in this configuration than like a regular 5.0. So uh, fully forged, fully built RPG 5.2 GT500 block. Um, you know, got manly everything, uh, ARP everything. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a built engine, guys. So um, what else do we have on the front end before we move on? I think this is pretty much it. Cosmetically, we're gonna get some more love too when we take it back home. We got the new wheels from modernmuscleperformance.net hooked me up as well as the blower. That's actually where I got the blower from. So uh, definitely hit them up if you want a good smoking deal or go to Lethal Performance. Uh, big supporters, they support me. I support them, you know, a um, hundred times over. So it looks good with 20s. I never thought that I'd put 20s on a car. Now we still have a drag pack. It's behind the car obviously, but for a day Daily driving setup. This is going to be really cool because this has the new G2 fronts. Of course, you know, when the car is running, we'll back it out and have a better look at it. But a G2 front, and then we have the new, uh, I think it's a G2 or a 555R2 is what they call it in the back. And it's a nice sticky drag radial. Now, it's not going to hold a thousand horsepower, which is what we think this will make. Um, in well excess of that because our we do have a party pulley a 69 and we're gonna play with that obviously but uh, yeah so let's go around the car again man these wheels look so good I love these wheels satin black finish I went with satin black this time instead of like a gloss black because I think it catches the light a little different it looks really good we have 
our new Corsa Extremes guys. Corsa, you guys know I oh, gotcha. Somebody tagged me. Drew tagged me. <laughs> yeah, my tags are way out of date, but Corsa, man, big, big supporters of the channel, and I love everything that they make. And this is really cool because we got Catalyst Long Tubes, the double H pipe and Corsa Extremes, and this is the non-active version. I'll show you how we locked out the actuators because this is an active uh, valve car, but we locked them out, we got rid of it, we relocated, so this is gonna be allowed all of the time. But um, interior-wise, I mean, yeah, we still got our parachute and all that stuff. I'm leaving it off for right now, and I just wanna clean up the wiring and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, yes, 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 so. All right. Here we go. So I'm gonna clean up the wires and make them a little bit nicer. Um, everything is just now getting finished, but we have the new box, the box from Lethal Performance. Now what the box does from Lethal, if you order a Lethal Performance fuel system, which this car has, we've said a, a million times already, I know, but uh, I, I love it, man. The box though, it makes it really plug and play almost like a vmp like style they just you just the pigtail connects it makes it really kind of just like dummy proof to install a return style fuel system in your garage and uh, we had the relays before they worked okay but this is a big improvement and uh you know lethal wanted it to we wanted to showcase it on the car so that's what we've got there it's really cool because when the car's on and everything it's got these these little led lights and everything that show if your your pumps are working so i decided to mount it there so when i pop the trunk then i can come in here and right in front of that green little connector you see the lights and it makes it pretty easy to troubleshoot now then we have a pnr ice tank this is the big one i reached out to lethal and i said hey what ice tank are you guys running to run your you know mid to low weight i said i don't care about the price just just sell me that and this is what they gave me so this is the stewart i believe the level four pump and uh, if you want to drain it's really easy right there just goes out underneath the car but nice and cleanly done but this is how we run our line so you have your feed coming here and out there and then out through the sides and then here's your return because just like a return style fuel system it's the same way with this kind of like the blood in your body just circulating the same thing is true with the water in here so this should help us with IATs quite a bit. But let's get the car in the air, show you what's underneath because there's a lot of stuff to show you under the car. All oh, these wheels, I love them. Okay, underneath the car. So we've got our triple pass heat exchanger, really nice. I gotta tuck some of this stuff up. But this is the new BMRK member. In the past we had the drag version. This is their new street version. I decided to pick this up because I wanted a little bit more comfortable of a ride as far as steering wheel feel and everything. We're, we're, we're nitpicking here a little bit, I think. You know, it's not that the other one wasn't bad, but this has a, obviously a little bit more structure and these leg kickbacks here are removable. So maybe you have like some big twin turbos or something hanging under here, uh, you know, then you can remove them or not. But I don't think that you'll have an issue because there's a lot of room. But I mean, you can see all of the structure and we should have a little bit more rigidity. So this is more of a street style, maybe road course worthy K member. It's a little bit heavier than the drag. I made an entire video comparing the two. I'll link it above, but we have, uh, yeah. So new long tube headers. These are stainless power going back to a Corsa. Now EPA was all over us when I ordered these. So the only thing I really get at the time was the necked down factory connect version so i'm gonna do something fancy here and i'll just take it to a muffler shop and we'll make this you know extended to a full three inch but this is the new double h pipe from corsa we've had it on the car already and we come back and we've got a brand new corsa extreme i love them the black tips just like we had before fire now the way that i locked out the actuators is this aw bracket really cheap got it from like i think american muscle or something but uh anyway um pretty cool that it mounts it right here in front of uh your what is this thing called i can't evap tank i, I can always forget them evap tank and then we still have all of our bmr suspension this is pretty much i get asked this all the time so i'll just address it what we have under here 
is the BMR 762 kit, which is these long arms. And then also back here to help completely lock everything out. Adjustable tow rods and we have vertical links and that's pretty much it in the rear end and I've had no problem 60 foot and, and uh, jacking rails and um, yeah, that's about it underneath I think. In a nutshell, that's most of it. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes and the other two will be back and then we're gonna repeat that same process we were doing two more times with some success and we're gonna get a little bit of a charge on the battery and this thing will be ready to start. <laughs> Let us stay for a minute and then we'll fire it up. Alright. Alright. Hit the X. Turn the key off. It powers up. Uh, check for codes again. What was it? That stupid plug? Well, whatever it was, we got it fixed. Yeah, we got the DI injectors got to get all the air out. I don't know what the problem is. We picked up the car with no engine and the wires were all messed up and everything. So we've had to go behind the other shop and police up a, a, a lot of things. But uh, all right, so it sounded like it wanted to fire. So we're gonna we're gonna give it the first official. Here we go. Rock and roll. So this is a startup tune from Daryl Wingard, right? I have no, I've had other tuners and nothing against them. I've just never had success quite like this. Man, the short-term fuel trims look like awesome so far. The, the trans is not learned, the cranks not learned, you know, all those things 
have to come into play but we're gonna walk around the car see how this thing sounds because it sounds it's really different man if you've ever heard like a course extreme it's this is the double h pipe it's just different sounding wow sounds good not incredibly too loud Really deep, I love it. It's got chop to it. We got FIC 1440 injectors in here as well. And again, just 88 millimeter pulley, uh, 93 octane tune, E85 is coming, but we're using cheap oil, which is what the recommendation is from RPG for break-in. They say after 200 miles, they're about, the rings are seated and then you can go you know, and, and you can play in the RPMs after that and go wide open, but... Uh, we got fuel pressure, looks good, everything's holding. So, yes. It's not loud, man. There's no weird ticking. No weird rattles. Everything is running very, very, very smooth. Wow. This is so crazy. So crazy. Let's check this again. Everything. It's gonna bleed air out of the system. Yeah, we're looking good. We got lots of flow. A lot of flow. Alright, once we drive it, it'll it'll settle up some more too. Alright, here we go guys. Uh, successful engine start. Get ready for the crazy content to come. Built 5.2 with the Odin Supercharger. Brand new tuner, everything is new, guys. I'm speechless, but it lives. The Red Queen is alive very well. I'm so excited, so happy to have the car back running. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the video at, at this point. I think we're gonna continue checking fluids. We're gonna keep go doing what we're supposed to do, but I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of it. So guys, subscribe and turn your notification bell on because, well, guess what? More content is coming, obviously. So I'll see you guys next video.